Hi guys and welcome back to the not so simple uh, world of simple harmonic motion. This time we're going to be looking at the graphical illustrations of displacement, velocity and acceleration and trying to explain them and what's going on. So welcome to part two. Okay, so my first graph at the top is displacement in meters with time uh, and that follows the equation x equals x0 sine omega t. Uh, then we've got velocity in meters per second against time and that's the differentiation of uh, the top equation with respect to time uh, and we get v equals omega x0 cos omega t uh, and then finally at the bottom we've got acceleration in meters per second per second uh, and if I differentiate velocity with respect to t uh, I'm going to get a equals minus omega squared x0 sine omega t which we saw in part one okay so firstly just look at the displacement uh, graph and look at the acceleration at the bottom you'll notice that actually 180 degrees or pi out of phase the reason why is because of the minus sign uh, in front of the omega squared in the a equals minus omega squared x0 sine omega t equation at the bottom okay they won't have the same amplitude because the omega squared but it's just something uh, to note okay so we're going to look at some of the things what's going on with the graphs okay so at this point here the gradient of the displacement graph is zero so the rate of change of displacement is zero and the rate of change of displacement is velocity so you can see at this point okay uh uh, the graph of velocity actually cuts through zero. Okay, let's have a look at another point. So here, uh, our gradient for displacement is at a maximum, so the rate of change of displacement is also a maximum. And you can see that uh, we are at the very peak of the velocity uh, graph. Okay, and then here, our displacement is going to a minimum. Oh, sorry, the rate of change of displacement is going to a minimum. And if you look at the velocity, well, there it's... Oh, uh, it's at a, the lowest possible value okay well let's have a look at velocity and acceleration so here the gradient is zero so the rate of change of velocity is zero you can see on the acceleration graph it's passing through zero at this point uh, here uh, the gradient is a maximum so the rate of change of velocity is going to be a maximum and if you look at the acceleration graph it is actually at a maximum and then finally here the gradient is a minimum so therefore the rate of change of velocity is a minimum and, and therefore we've got the acceleration down at the very bottom uh, with its lowest possible value. Okay, I hope this is clearing things up. I uh, hope this is helping. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, bye for now.